I absolutely love 21st Century Skills. It's a fabulous time to be involved in education. century skills are important because of the globalization that we're seeing um, internationally that it used to be that you know we were an industrial nation but that's no longer true we're really uh, a knowledge building economy the fuel for a knowledge building economy is innovation and creativity and so it's really important that we focus on those skills fundamentally for me we're not teaching content we're teaching students we're teaching human beings and so 21st century learning these skills, it's basically how are people going to not only survive in the culture, but thrive in the culture in which they find themselves. What I do think that is different now is technology is advancing faster than we can keep up with. And so never more so than now, we have to prepare kids to be ready for whatever the future brings when we're not exactly sure what that future is. So the skills are not the same that they've been in the past where uh, you need to know how to, how to do specific things in certain ways. It's more about what's beyond the horizon. What we're providing are opportunities to practice those skills, to understand those skills, and to see the relationship to the world outside. And so this transition to the outside world becomes much more seamless. And it's not just, oh, I'm finished with my K-12 system, now I'm going to just jump into a whole new, different world. Ideally, it's an it's a ongoing continuum of development. Making the learning authentic, that means making it connect to their outside world, making them see themselves in the learning. And so that to me is incredibly exciting. And, and I've been in enough classrooms and libraries already in this project to know that students respond favorably. Students are more engaged. Students are on task. Students are proud of their work and they keep asking, when are we doing this again? What I found most encouraging about 21st century skills was that it embraced all of those things that we were already doing with project-based learning, but then it took it to another level in which classroom teachers understood, I don't have to do a big project. It's something that I can integrate on a daily basis. It's not something that you just introduce, you do one time and then you move on to the next one. You keep building on what you've used. We as educators have to give our students opportunities continuously, not, not just this one project, but year long, all the time, have something going where they're having to use their skills and become lifelong learners. And for me it's exciting as a teacher because I believe in professional development and that you should never stop improving yourself, improving how you teach, improving how you learn, and all this new and old skills put together is just one way of making sure that I teach the best I can. We've got to take action, we've got to keep doing better, we've got to use what we know and continue to improve because people's lives are at stake and that's a, that's a huge responsibility to have. And yet we have to be purposeful and thorough and clear about what we want to change, what we want to improve, and take action that's based on that. As um, school districts move into 21st century learning, one of the real difficulties is the assessment aspect of 21st century learning because we're, we understand how to use um, high stakes assessments for and multiple choice, but typically that doesn't get at the higher order thinking. It doesn't get at the collaboration and the communication and the self-direction. Um, and so I'd like to congratulate Twin Rivers in taking that giant step forward to incorporate 21st century skills into your report card structure. I think it's a, an important first step, but that first step is one that few districts in the nation have taken, so congratulations. Mm -hmm.